Golden Retrievers have a coat to absolutely die for. All of that long, silky golden hair really is a showstopper. But what does that beautiful coat require in terms of grooming? Is it a lot of work or is it not as bad as you might think? Well, stick around as in this video, we will cover everything and anything that you might need to know about Golden Retriever grooming requirements. Welcome back to the Femre Golden Retriever Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the glorious Golden Retriever. So if you love them as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Golden video. So then, let's dive straight into today's video and we'll jump right into what brushing a Golden will entail. Now, like we say, the Golden has a long, beautiful coat, though underneath all of that fur is more fur. The Golden is a double-coated dog with a woolly, fluffy undercoat. The top layer of hairs is referred to as guard hairs and helps to protect the undercoat underneath and hold most of the pigment that makes up a dog's colouring. You might think that it is a brilliant idea to shave or trim a Golden, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Never shave a Golden unless it is a last resort. Shaving exposes the Golden skin to harmful UV rays, and as this breed already has cancer concerns, it does nothing more than increase the chance that the dog will develop skin cancer. Shaving hair can also permanently damage the dog's coat, make hair growth uneven, and promote matting. It also does nothing to keep the dog cool. It actually can make them hotter in the summer months as the undercoat not only insulates from cold, but also from heat. Now, Goldens frequently shed as well as blowing their undercoats twice a year when the seasons change. They will need to be brushed weekly, but it is a daily commitment when they start to shed out those undercoats twice a year. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays, and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. To stay on top of all that luscious golden hair, you're going to need a slicker brush, a de-shedding rake or a ferminator. If you go the Furminator route, make sure to pay particular attention to which brush you get. They do come in different models depending on coat length. Using the incorrect size can damage the top layer of the guard hairs and even the skin. Now for your once a week brushing, you can rely on the slicker brush. Just run it over the dog's coat against and with the hair growth. Going against the hair is an essential step as it lifts the guard hair so you can get more easy access to the undercoat and remove any loose hairs. It isn't uncomfortable for the dog as long as you make sure to brush it back in place once you're done. Goldens may also benefit from using a little bit of liquid spray like detangler for dogs. Just spray a small amount over the section you are working on and then brush it away. Now, during shedding season, you will want to pull out your de-shedding rake or ferminator and use the same method as you would with your slicker brush. Just make sure not to press too hard as these brushes are metal and you can easily irritate the dog's skin if you're too heavy-handed. A small pair of trimmers will also be beneficial to keep a hand as goldens tend to grow slippers on their feet that can easily mat. So trimming down the hair between their toes can help make them more comfortable and reduce the amount of dirt they may track into your house. Their feet are the only spot where any trimming should ever happen. Now, bathing can be a chore, especially since this breed has an affinity for water and they can find themselves going to explore puddles and some rather grimy standing water, leading to more frequent baths with this breed. But if your golden isn't exploring suspicious bodies of water, occasional bathing is all that is needed. Bathing is also excellent while they're shedding seasonally as it helps to loosen any hairs that are ready to come out. So a good brushing followed by a bath and then more brushing afterwards can really help in that department. Post bath brushing should only be done when the dog's fur is dry and should always be done after a bath. This ensures no water is trapped under the fur which can lead to matting and hot spots which can cause some quite nasty issues for the dog. Now, for a golden, a high-quality natural shampoo is the way to go, unless the individual has skin allergies, in which case a hypoallergenic shampoo is necessary. Never use human shampoo on a dog. It is not chemically formulated for a dog's coat and can actually damage the fur and cause skin irritations. 
Now, as Goldens have floppy ears, ear cleaning will need to be a part of the regular grooming routine for this breed. You will need a dog ear cleaning solution and some cotton balls. Damp the cotton ball with the solution and then wipe down the inside of the ear, but only do what you can see, as pushing into their ear can damage their inner ear. This is also why you want to avoid using Q-tips. It is also important to keep their ears dry, as leaving moisture there can lead to bacteria growth and then infection. So after a swim or bath, just take a wet cotton ball and use it inside to clean the ears and then a nice dry one to dry them out. And there we go. That is all you need to be doing to keep your glorious golden retriever looking its absolute best. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and remember, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a future golden retriever video.